In an attempt to boost India's traditional Ayurvedic therapy market, the government has created an entire ministry to promote yoga and Ayurvedic therapies across the globe. The move is expected to revive the fortunes of the ages-old Indian traditional medicine. Here's a report. Shripad Yeso Nayak, the former Minister of State of Tourism and Culture with independent charge, has now taken control of the new Ministry of Ayurveda, Yoga and Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy, which has thankfully been abbreviated to Ayush. Ayush is a separate ministry. And I understand that I am the most proud of you. We have been working on our work, and that's why we are very proud of you. और इस देश को एक बलवान निरोगी करना ये हमारा आगे का कर्तव्य है और जो कुछ इस मिनिस्ट्री में आवेश में जो कुछ हमारे पास होगा तो पूरी ताकत से वो हम आगे लेके जाने में मदद करेंगे India's Prime Minister himself, a strong proponent of yoga and natural remedies, has allocated a very generous 225 million US dollars to the ministry. And at the 6th World Ayurveda Congress recently, Mr. Modi emphasized that the development and promotion of traditional healthcare systems depends solely on the dedication of its practitioners. <laughs> कि मैं अगर आयुर्वेद क्षेत्र का विद्यार्थी हूँ या मैं आयुर्वेद क्षेत्र का डॉक्टर हूँ मैं आयुर्वेद क्षेत्र का टीचर हूँ या मैं आयुर्वेद क्षेत्र में मेडिसिन का मैन्युफैक्चरिंग करता हूँ या मैं होलिस्टिक हेल्थ केयर को प्रमोट करने वाला हूँ मैं किसी क्षेत्र से हूँ उसमें मेरा कोई कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं होना चाहिए मेरी शत प्रतिशत प्रतिबद्धता होनी चाहिए और अगर हम शत प्रतिशत प्रतिबद्धता लेकर चलते हैं आप देखिए परिणाम आना शुरू हो जाएगा some modern biomedical health practitioners, however, feel that India should instead channel more funds towards improving its national healthcare infrastructure. So looking at the present scenario, I would feel that the things which are already there, like taking care of asepsis, sterilization of allopathic uh, treatments which are going on already, they should be taken care of as a priority and they should be taken to the task first than to take care of new things in motion. A dedicated ministry for yoga and other traditional medical treatments may be useful for boosting India's share of the global eucreative alternative medicines market. But even in India, Ayurvedic and other forms of traditional treatment may face a tough challenge from drugs produced by the massive modern pharmaceutical industry. Avneet Arora for South Asia Newsline in New Delhi.